Okay, I accidentally killed it. There was like a caterpillar, like maybe a possible silkworm, a butterfly bug. Uh-huh, because we had the chrysalis on basalt, right? We ended up summoning something. Anyway, there was a, a little tiny, a little tiny itty bitty, like how it, a quarter inch or smaller, fat round, fat, like an eighth inch or bigger. Whoa, so about half of the length, yeah. It was, it was um, like mint chocolate chip green ice cream, like pastel, uh-huh. It was green and white colored. Uh-oh. And my, my, my eyebrow was itching and I wiped it and I accidentally killed the little fat bug. Okay, and I can't see up here. All right, it was up here. And I did not pick this open, but I've I've been picking these other ones open. Okay. Um uh did it just like sperm or fertilize the nest on my eyebrow? Um like you know fleas start out as like worm maggots. Ah uh, this was a uh, it looked like it would have been a butterfly, but it was miniature. It was those colors. Yeah, and it was that, that, that screwy, um, it was in my, my, my pouch, but somebody stole it. Which set the spirit free, and it came over here, and it fertilized my eyebrow. What's going to come out of there? Some type of worm that is able to turn into, like, a slinky of spring screws, um... Oh, how big do they come out? I don't know. Um, wait, they're like the curly worm that was in our face already. It was not a ramen noodle. Uh-uh. It's going to have a baby. It did what? I have no idea how that works. I thought somebody poisoned me with a ramen noodle. It's not a ramen noodle. Uh-uh, it's like... It's like a slinky, a springy slinky, uh-huh. This was an itty bitty tiny worm, like a caterpillar butterfly. Uh, they said sometimes these segments, could, you know how tapeworms segment themselves? And like you have like a bunch of like rice sized turds or whatever, like, I don't know how that happens. This thing can segment itself. Yeah, and each ring can like break off and be a separate, separate over in the body. They can come out and get hard and make like stitches on the body, like ant jaws. Uh, what? We also found out some like the jaws of life metal clippers on the bridge. There's metal that's alive. We was looking at laser diamond cutters. Um, Ashley needs black diamonds to cut her, not regular because Ashley's black. You mean the alpha demon species of Ashley got married and is staying with Ashley's body? Uh-huh. Plus E.T. upside down crabs eats the moonlight to blow moonlight out of the claws of one of the demons and was going to heal James's brain and James said no. Why wouldn't James want to be healed? He might have been a brother with a Indian scalping. A lookalike? Uh-huh. Okay, so we're... Uh, the E.T. is here to heal Ashley Red, and uh, Red's not leaving Ashley ever again. Right, okay. And so the volunteer opposite through James would want to know what other things he could help with, but he knows better because all of Ashley's are dead. Ashley doesn't get along, and Ashley won't have brothers and sisters that do that either, so she has the Devil Mafia, Mr. Solace, who's a brother. And she has a volunteer, Tweedle, which is a Santa Claus cousin who had a shut down Christian girl's home in Texas that the rules are up here in the druggies and Ashley's against them. They are banned from Texas. Uh, okay. Um, they volunteered. They said they would, they would be happy to stand behind Ashley and Ashley's man who Ashley doesn't know who it is. And Ashley's wondering if we forgot the Mr. Solace marries everybody and this one wasn't to marry and is looking for the right person to take its place as brother or tattletale to Mr. Solace or something. Okay, we're not, right.
and we're not trying to have anybody kill themselves because there's some people who are at the end of their life and if they don't have somebody right they will kill themselves and there's too many people who are like I will save you I'm special or I will be the one and we're like oh boy so um oh hell that definitely there's there's shit all over you we'll just yeah, who the hell would want to be, like, the Mexican mafia leader and try to find a date? Like, you know? Oh, my God. Or his daughter or his sister. Like, people would think they're going to inherit or they wouldn't be able to handle it, you know? I mean, because, like, that's a big table, a big family to feed, isn't it? Uh, yes, it is. Uh, thank you. I'm going to put this online. Thanks, Ashley. And we're talking in third person, so that way we don't hypnotize anybody accidentally by the hypnosis we naturally have power of with our eye. Sometimes it's out and sometimes it's in. Sometimes it's at ourself. Um, we don't ever accidentally want to do that, so we talk in third person a lot to remind others um, about Ashley. And Ashley's got the four seasons of hair color and looks and lookalikes and down the lines of mixtures to mix with so she could look like any of those without having to pay them back. And it should not be like them normal to be against Ashley purchasing her birth body. But um, somebody was getting jealous and they forgot uh, who they were and they wouldn't be here without whatever. And their Ashley's, they don't get to turn against it. So they forgot. And Ashley's not 45 yet. And the other people have uh, access to Ashley's life until she's age 45 physically. We're 46 now spiritually. So... Um, there's another nine years or so that people are able to walk in and out of our life. Right. And Ashley's completely against it. There's no more torture that needs to be done to Ashley. They will walk out as kind of like hello and goodbye and accepting that we're married no matter fucking what and this is what happened and this is you'd be dead and somebody did whatever and, and this is where the Mexican mafia came in and blocked off everybody else. Oh, fuck. Please be sensitive, you guys. Thank you very much.